I'm very happy to announce you that there is finally a digital nomad visa in Bali. We've been waiting for years for this visa. Now it's there. What are the pros and cons of this visa? So this visa uh, allows you to work in Bali, in Indonesia, for a foreign client, a foreign employer, or a foreign, any foreign company. So you have not the right to work for Indonesian clients and Indonesian people in Indonesia but you have to work, it's for people who want to work remotely. So it applies to people who are like a freelance, for example, you have clients uh, abroad, you can work in Bali. Uh, if you have an online business, a content creation, whatever it is, no limitation. As long as your, um, as your uh, company is abroad and your client abroad, nothing, no business done in Indo Indonesia. That's very, very important. And uh, it, works, it works also for um, if you are an employee and you, your company, your employer is outside and you have a remote, uh, remote worker contract, it works as well. How much does it cost? Not much. Uh, between 700 and 800 uh, dollars you have to apply through agencies I will uh, add some agencies in the description of, uh, of the video um, what else so um, it's uh, you can stay one year in Bali or in Indonesia okay it's a multi entry visa you can go out go in as long as much as you want okay after one year you can renew it so you can probably renew it indefinitely and uh, and stay forever in the island of God. Uh, what document do you need? You don't need much uh, compared to the to the other uh, the Malaysian uh, Indo uh, digital nomad visa, like the Toronto visa. Uh, they asked me a lot, tons of documents. It took months of them to process. This seems much more uh, easy. You have to give uh, so your passport for your passport, copy of your passport. Uh, bank statement to show that uh, your client or your employer is paying you okay um, you have to have a remote worker contract or something similar so if you have your own you you own online business and you are alone in your in your company that's very easy because you make a, you make a contract just between your company and yourself if you have an employer you ask your employer to make a remote contract or just to just to, to specify in a document that you are working remotely that it allow you to to work remotely and what are the condition and if you are uh, if you are a freelance then you you set up a commercial contract or just you ask to you ask your client to sign a form uh, stating that is okay that you work uh, remotely and done <laughs> you see that's not uh, that's not much so how long does it take to to get it they told me just a uh, less than two weeks but it's written uh, four or five weeks so let's see I think uh, let's see because it's just the beginning it's just starting so I'm, I don't I don't really know how, ma uh, how many days it will take to it will take for the agency to, to give me the visa once you get the visa you have three months to enter uh, Indonesia okay then at the custom they will stamp you that uh, you are under the digital uh, nomad visa and they will stamp you one year you can stay one year in Indonesia and start to live in heaven. So the amazing thing with this uh, with this visa is that we we are not scared anymore to work because basically before, of course, even nowadays there are plenty of uh, people working remotely in Bali. Okay, uh, millions of people in a co-working place that you can see every day, but it's not very uh, appropriate, not very uh, legit to, uh, to, to do that. You cannot work under a tourist visa. That's the same in any country. Even in Thailand, you cannot. Even in, uh, in, uh, in Malaysia, you cannot. So this, 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 was, not, this was not good. There was a, the, before, there was also, the, the, there is still the, the investor kitas, but uh, the investor kitas, same. It's not necessarily very appropriate to, uh, to work under this uh, under this kitas. So um, so I'm very very happy that it's uh, that it's finally there. I think um, the next step will be uh, Thailand who, who, who set up something similar because uh, you, you have not really the right to work under Thai elite visa. So uh, so that's just uh, that's just amazing. So I'm uh, I'm doing it now. I hope to get it in a uh, uh, few days and come back to, uh, to Bali very, very soon. 
uh, with this uh, beautiful uh, beautiful visa you have to show also ah, yes a bank statement i told you bank statement. um in the bank statement in the paper it's written that you have to make sixty thousand a year but they didn't ask for the, the yearly bank statements they just asked for just monthly bank statement showing that there is a wire between uh, like my company and my and myself basically so uh, i just provided that and it seems uh, sufficient so far uh, now in terms of uh, tax so normally normally as long as you stay more than six months in indonesia and your permanent resi uh, residency is in indonesia then you should be able to uh, become tax resident in indonesia however from the question i, I asked already to um, get the tax identification number which is a NPWP so far um, I'm not sure you can get it with this uh, with this visa but it's just a, it's just a question a question mark because normally it should be it should be um, straightforward to get it with an investor kitas you can get it 100% but with um, the digital nomad visa I'm not 100% sure and this may be an important uh, point, especially if you want to secure your tax residency in, uh, in Indonesia. Okay, guys, that's it. Um, if you have any question, write in, uh, in the comment or you go on my uh, website. I will, uh, I will add all the link in the description of the video. I wish you a very happy day and hope to see you in Bali. Nowadays, I'm not in Bali. I was in Bali this morning, but I just moved uh, for a holiday in Bangkok. I'm in uh, Lumpini, uh, Lumpini Park in Bangkok. Bye-bye.